Jack Wade didn't begin his adult career as an artist, but later in life he made a most promising discovery that he instantly developed a passion for, and then made it his life's work. Using bold, bright colors, he brings to life the world around him while brightening the world of those intrigued by his artistic talents. Well, uh, I got into painting rather uh, indirectly, I suppose. I had uh, gone into the uh, Navy right after high school, and I actually thought I was going to be a sailor for the rest of my life. And after going out to sea for some time uh, and being out at sea for long days, I, it just was not very interesting to me. It wasn't what at all what I thought it was going to be like. So I was rather disappointed in that, and I actually uh, can remember myself doing some praying where I hoped that whatever I did in life, I would find a passion for doing. So when I got out of the service, I went to uh, college, and in my sophomore year, I had to take a class in Essentials of Art. And by taking this class, I thought, my goodness, this was a lot of fun. Uh, it was um, just very interesting to me to make things. So then I transferred to the University of Northern Iowa and took some drawing classes and painting classes and I began to think maybe a person could do this the rest of their life. I'm pretty much in my studio for long periods of the day, which I, I really enjoy. I work a lot on uh, watercolors. I love the transparency of the watercolor. I also work with acrylic paintings, and there's just so much you can do with acrylics, uh, and oftentimes the color is a little bit more bold, so um, they certainly have their attributes too. This is a uh, project working with uh, the stencil of a leaf, and the way that this was begun is uh, this was the first color on the paper and the entire paper where it was um, colored with different uh, mostly warm colors a lot of warm pieces here so after that is dried then uh, the leaf is uh, stapled down on top and then I simply take a brush and I paint away from the leaf like so and I try to get a lot of very strong dark colors because it's the darks that will make the lights appear to be lighter. My late wife and I wanted to uh, have an adventure overseas. Uh, through the placement bureau, uh, a job offering came through to uh, work for the Air Force at Lodges Air Force Base in uh, the Azores, Tessera is the island. And so we did that for two years. Uh, I transferred to uh, the education part of uh, Dodds, which is the Department of Defense. Never in my life would I thought I would enjoy teaching elementary, but the enthusiasm of these students was remarkable. The really interesting thing about teaching is a I think for most teachers, uh, there's a great deal of satisfaction from seeing students learn something, and that's certainly uh, my case. Oftentimes, there are students that, uh, when I was teaching elementary, that were not academic achievers, and uh, much to my surprise, sometimes uh, they were able to excel wonderfully with uh, the art. It's just really exciting to see what students can accomplish and even though I steer them in one direction as it is of course everyone has their own uh, ideas and things and that's very interesting too so I learn a lot from the students it's a give and take it really is this is a very simple exercise right here um, this is has to do with 
two or three real basic colors. Now with these two colors, add more water, bringing it towards the brown. You get these very, very beautiful colors here. As it granulates down the paper, you can see this granulation here, a little bit more water. It goes lighter and darker all the time, depending on how much water is in the uh, pigment. I get so much enjoyment out of just watching how these colors flow together. Um, it's kind of like a meditation is what it really is. I might see paintings that I, I know that I did them down at the creek, not far from the house here, and it takes me back to that moment. In a way, it's a little bit like taking photographs, but with art, you can play around with things a lot. You can move the trees from one place to another. You can make all sorts of combinations yet still have the essence of that place, essentially.